what's up guys welcome back to the channel um, today we have the last installment of the dyna suspension upgrade and it's the rear shocks if you haven't figured it out by now if you've been following along um, i got the bags off uh, just so we can see better and see with this system here um, i'm not sure what i'm gonna have to all take off of these bag mounts to get these shocks on here but um, yeah let's check out the new shocks and they are a legends uh 14 inch and i decided to go with this uh gray it's like a natural color um to kind of match the front with the black and the silver i think they'll look pretty cool um, what i have on there right now is uh 12 and a half drag specialties which are a really good shock it's a budget shock it's way better than stock so i'm, I'm curious of what these bad boys um, are gonna do um, but there is a couple notes on the mounting of these um, because they are spherical bushings uh, see you can kind of see how it's moving there you don't want to mount a flat washer on here because it won't be able to articulate at all and I believe yeah there's a mount with circlip out so we'll have to find that one and and mount these appropriately but yeah since they are uh, a a uh, 14 inch shock and they're, and they're a bigger uh taller shock you know i'm gonna have to double check my chain tension on here and i did get a bung king uh guy that sits here that that will help this guide so you don't mess with the inner primary or anything um but yeah, I have the axle moved all the way forward, so I should be all right there, you know, as far as adjustment, because um, it will actually shorten the wheelbase a little bit, extending these shocks out. But yeah, um, hopefully I can just maybe loosen these two and kind of, because I need to pull this back to get the shock out of there, but it's really just a bottom bolt, a top bolt, get my spacers aligned and I should be good to go, so um yeah let's see how far we got to go get this bag frame off of here <laughs> and uh cue the time lapse buttoned up um, it was a lot harder than I thought um, 
these deviant customs bag mounts are a pain in the butt um because they they mount up here at the shock so what i had to do um was the spacers that legend supplied i had to cut them in half and all i have here in my garage is a little hacksaw um so so yeah <laughs> got her installed what what you want is is movement um this movement right here shows that it's not bound up uh, on both sides you want that that movement there it's something like seven ten degrees they recommend but but yeah i love the look it's sad that um you know it's gonna get covered up with the bags but and i may ditch this bag system later on because it's i mean they use a uh, passenger peg mount that's here that i really don't like and yeah it's just overly complicated for what it is but um got the bunking slider in chain adjusted um yeah we're ready to go she's sitting tall i can't wait to ride it but yeah guys um like comment subscribe appreciate the support hope you like this video uh, if you do tell your friends and we'll catch you guys on the next one i can't wait to review these Take it easy.